Eagles don't die in their thirties. They have the luxury of choosing either to die or to extend their longevity via a rebirth process. Says the speculation. Is this true? Do stay with us on this journey as we reveal the truth about the spots. This isn't common. And revealing the myth about animals. It was said when eagles are in their thirties, they don't make a difficult decision because their long and flexible talons would have lost their flexibility and would no longer be able to grow prey. Also, their beak becomes tall and bent, and their wings will grow old, thick, and heavy, almost sticking to their chest, thereby impairing their flight. These factors often make them undergo the rebirth process, which requires them flying to the top of mountains and hibernating there for over six months. During this period of hibernation, they pass through excruciating pain by plucking out their feathers, breaking and removing their talons and beak by striking them against surfaces, such as rocks, stones, and so on. These fixtures are removed consecutively and the pain during this period is ended. Once the process is completed within six months, the eagle gets to live for another 20 to 30 years. How true is this belief? Several studies have revealed that the lifespan of an eagle generally 30 years. The longest recorded lifespan for the wild bird eagle in the US was 38 years. They do not have the liberty of extending their life cycle beyond what is normal for their species. When K, an eagle may live beyond the average lifespan due to the care and treatments that will be provided by facility caring for him. A golden eagle, according to a non teton raptor center, can live up to 30 years in the wild and 50 years in the captivity. The possession of sharp curved talons and strong curved beaks are what makes this bird to be referred to as raptors. They don't have straight and pointy beaks as portrayed. Eagles are predictable and their curved talons are always hard because they are used to group prey. They are made up of bone core with keratin shed. If the bone core is lost, the keratin will grow back, which is permanent damage and malice to the death of an eagle unless it is being filled. Just like in Stalin, an eagle cough beak, which is essential for tearing into breast meat to swallow, also contains keratin and can be repaired from damage as fatal as being killed out. Like our fingernails, the talons and beaks grow constantly, and like every other bird, eagles rub their beak against hard surfaces such as branches or even rocks to help them clean and wear them down, but not to the extent of breaking them or plucking them out. The absence of these two fixtures in an eagle can lead to death. Also, they weigh about 12 pounds and have a high metabolism, so the hard of shilling for five months will be difficult for them because they have to keep up their food intake to survive. Every bird undergoes a process called molting. This is the process where old feathers naturally fall out and new ones grow in their place. Some bird species do lose most of their feathers at once and are forced to hide to grow back, but such is not the case for eagle species raptors. Also, the process of forcefully plucking out feathers can cause permanent damage to the feather follicle, thereby causing badness which can lead to infection or starvation because a wingless bird cannot fly. An eagle undergo a rebirth process. Larry Heron, an assistant director of Raptor Center at University of Minnesota said, without talent and a beak, they simply could not survive. That concludes this episode. There are several fixtures in common in several animals, and this will be unveiled more in our subsequent series. This is Ali Malia.